Hey everybody, I am back here at the Linton Belair Urban Trail because this is the start of a segment on Strava called The Mongrel. <laughs> now when I did this last time, I shared it on YouTube and Facebook, a lot of people got in touch with me and said, have you heard of the segment on Strava called The Mongrel? Have you given that a go? So I looked it up and I thought, I definitely, definitely have to try this. So I've taken some stats. You can see where we are. This is where we are. This is where it starts. It starts here and it goes all the way to Mount Lofty Summit on a road called mostly Shioak Road. Um, and it's 14.74 kilometres. The queen of the mountain is Emily and she did this in November 2018. She did it in 50 minutes and 15 seconds. The king of the mountain is Demonic Dan. He did this in November 2019 and he did it in 38 minutes and 57 seconds. Yeah, 38 minutes and 57 seconds. So I think that today, I'm probably gonna do it in maybe an hour. My goal is an, an hour and 15 minutes. Maybe I'll do it in an hour and a half, but I'm gonna aim for an hour and 15 minutes. I'm going to share with you some of the ride, but not the whole ride, because it'll be really boring just listening to me breathing and um, <laughs> so should I make it? Um, we'll talk at the top. I'll also share some bits along the way with you of what it's like. And um, yeah, let's do this. This is, this is going to be cool. This is going to be cool. Um, I'm not going to show you this part of the trail because I've already done this. If you want to see that, check out my other video um, that I shared of what this trail's like. It's a great trail to practice doing your gradients and understanding what the gradients are, the 10, 15, and 20% gradients. So... <laughs> Here we go, that's the top of the Linton to Belair. I'm sure I did it in a faster time this time. There was a kid in front of me on a mountain bike and I was pretty impressed. I almost started recording him to show you. There's this kid on a mountain bike going up there pretty fast. But what we're gonna do when we get to the end here is we're gonna go to left. And we're gonna find Shioke Road. So we'll go left here and then go left again. I think this is Shioke. I'll ask these people here. Is that she oak? Is that she oak? Sure. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, there we go. So we've got to go past St. John's Grammar School. And keep going past that. I just have to ask more people. <laughs> it is a little bit confusing, and because on um, on Google you can't just do the map and then sh share it to your phone because it keeps, when you do that, it tells you where it wants you to go, not where you want to go. And then you can do these little segments of like start, stop, start, stop all the way along, but then it doesn't actually give you directions when you share it to your phone, so you can't ride and know where you're going. Um, so yeah, you kind of need to map it out. I did look at it a few times, I roughly know where to go, but once you get up here, it's all very different. <laughs> to get off my bike and I had to walk it got too hard it got really really steep and I was going way too slow I couldn't actually keep pedaling I had to get off I had to and it's getting really hot because I had this uh, wind vest on and this is the trace in traffic it's a beautiful road and it's pretty quiet like uh, there's not that much traffic but back there on the 20 percent I just couldn't do it. I'm gonna, maybe I need to, to fix the gears on my bike so that I can actually go into my final gear as well. But um, but yeah, it's, uh, that was intense. That was intense. This is definitely worth having a go, coming and doing this. Um, and I definitely need to get a little bit fitter and a little bit stronger and um, come back and try this again as well. Um, this is very, very cool. I highly recommend doing this so far. I'm only halfway through, 
It's a beautiful road. The Shio Road is a beautiful road, and this ride is very challenging. It's very challenging. It's very good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Back on the bike. This is great. This is great. I love it. It's great. <laughs> Summit. Yeah. Well, that was intense. <laughs> that was intense. I um, I would say that has to be the hardest ride that I've ever done, and um, I am definitely up for it again. I am super excited because I set out to do it in one hour and fifteen minutes, and I did it in one hour and eighteen minutes. So yay! <laughs> I'm super happy about that and there's still heaps more of a challenge there for me to do it, to do it without getting off my bike um, and to do it in a shorter time but uh, respect and kudos to everybody who's given this a go and especially to the king and queen of the mountain that's amazing um, and yeah I, I felt like because I had done the um, urban trail and because I had done corkscrew and I've done um, you know, lofty already, and I've done Norton Summit. I thought this would be actually a bit easier, but it's not. It's actually really hard, um, and I like that. I like that it's a challenge. And um, so I'm just saying to everybody who's thinking about trying this, or if you haven't tried any of those other ones, definitely try those other ones because you'll be able to do those. Um, they're quite easy in a way compared to this, but. Um, this is awesome. Thank you to whoever suggested, a few of you actually suggested for me to do this. Thank you for the suggestion. Uh, give me some other suggestions because I'm keen to try some other um, challenges and some other climbs. And um, even if it's a longer distance, um, let me know and um, see you on the road. Get out here and give this a go. <laughs> Definitely give this a go. Mwah. <laughs>